This MMA 30 segment is powered by The Gun Store. Next time you're in Las Vegas, if you want to shoot a real machine gun, do it at The Gun Store at 2900 East Tropicana. My first car. Well, technically, my first car my parents got for me when I was nine years old. It was an old school 1976 like, Datsun truck. And uh, we lived way out in the woods. Uh, we moved to Montana when I was like nine, eight, eight or nine. And uh, lived there all the way till my... Uh, sophomore year of high school and uh, they bought me this little Datsun truck that I would use uh, just out because we kind of have a ranch or farm and I would just rally that thing around it was a stick and I would just jump it dude I put a rock through the floorboard uh, just rallying that thing around so that was my first official car and then when I turned 16 um, my parents bought a little Ford Ranger and uh, I had that and I actually ended up rolling that <laughs> rolled into the ditch and uh, yeah, so it was pretty crazy. Uh, white Daytona, 1989 Daytona. 89? Might have, no, 84 or something like that. It was an old piece of junk, and it uh, got me from point A to point B. That's about it. Yeah, I was one of the only two of my friends had cars, me and my buddies, so we were always driving around. I had, a piece, I had the biggest piece of junk car with a 12-inch subwoofer in the back, and it just pumped. So you'd see me in the biggest piece of shit you can find on the road with a 12-inch subwoofer that pounded and everything rattled when he came by. So it was, it was all right, you know, I had a lot of, a lot of days drinking in Daytona, that's for damn sure. It was a 1986 Toyota Celica. We called it Flipper because it had a little fin on the back and it was all different colors. It was cool. No, I tried, uh, I tried pushing it at 120 and it started shaking really bad and I was getting pretty nervous and I slowed it down. But other than that, nothing much. Broke down and got a new one. <laughs> well, technically, yeah, technically my first car was like a 1987 Toyota Camry that was like like poop brown and had like I don't know, it was it was weird but that one like broke down immediately like this so i didn't really count because like it didn't that didn't really count another time i bought like a 1979 nissan um no no honda civic or something like it was like it was made of like solid steel like it didn't and then i gave it back to the guy that day so that didn't count either um because i was like this car sucks and, and buyer's remorse I just learned about that in my business <coughs> law class. And uh, so my real first truck was the Beast. It was uh, my, dad's, um, my dad's Nissan truck that kicked ass. And it, I could just roll over bushes. And uh, I would just like run over my friend's yard and just do donuts and stuff. and um, Trench their yards. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what else did I do? Um, I, oh, yeah. Every, I would go cut, take a shortcut. Uh, from my house to the main road, which was like this bumpy four-wheel road, and I would slam it. And then finally, I I, I did an illegal U-turn and got smashed into uh, when I was like 18 because I was going to some chick's house. And that was stupid. And uh, the, I, we fixed it up, like not we didn't fix the body up, but we fixed the wheel back up, and I just kept driving it. So it had one big crushed inside that I just kept driving it, and I would drive it through the mud. And just get stupid. I miss that truck. And I still owe my dad a truck. Damn. Was a Toyota Corolla. Which I crashed driving home from work. I flipped it completely upside down and slid on the roof down a hill for about 30 yards and hit a tree and spun round. And I was upside down in the car with no seatbelt on. <laughs> um, with the music still blasting. I was like, oh shit, because I was on a bend as well and the car could have came around the corner. So I had to punch my way out the windscreen, smash the windscreen from the inside, climbed out. And as I said, it was a hell of a car crash. I was in there on my own and the only injury I had was to my hand where I punched the window. It was, it was miraculous that I walked away completely scot-free. Buckle up. Tell us about the car, like what color, interior? Oh, oh, uh, oh, interior, I mean, it was very, very basic, you know what I mean? The wages I was earning back then uh, didn't warrant anything too special. In fact, it was my girlfriend's dad at the time bought it for us, so I, didn't, I couldn't even buy it myself. What's it was blue-ish, grey-blue, grey-blue. It's a good car, good car. I liked that car. Uh, shoot, it was a Pontiac Grand Am 2000, no, 1999 Pontiac Grand Am. Horrible car, barely even worked. Steering wheel was hard, hard to even turn, um, but you know, it was the car for me because I was a horrible driver at 16. You know, I was going down the main road, not my fault, just driving 30 miles per hour. Some little seven-year-old girl runs across the road without looking. I slammed on my brakes, barely tapped her. She rolled on, rolled right back off, hopped right up. Oh, I'm okay. I'm a 16-year-old kid. I'm like, what the hell do I do? 
So, you know, I turned around, made sure she was okay, everything was good, but the scariest moment of my life. It's a 1988 Dodge Colt. You don't even know what the hell that is, do you? Yes, I know. No, Nobody knew what it was until I, my parents brought that for me. It was like a little hatchback. It was, it was white. And then, you know, it, everybody used to come across the egg because it looked like an egg. But some asshole put like six by nine speakers in it. So I used to come in at high school like blasting ludicrous. And then he was like, six by nine is not that big, but in a little egg, it was boom, boom, boom. And everybody was like, go egg, go egg. When I like pulled up in the neighborhood and stuff. So it was fun. First car I ever had was a Chevy Spectrum. If you don't know what that is, it's a box of wheels. That's exactly what it looks like. I didn't have any crazy experience in that car, but I did have a Geo Metro that was convertible. <laughs> Somebody slashed open the top of my, my roof, and I had, to, I had to remake it with an air mattress. <laughs> hey, don't hang out the end of it. But I used to drift down a little car, and I wish I would put a roll cage in it. I know it costs more than what the car, the car is. Well, I wanted to roll it off the, off the cliff. But it would have been a fun way to go out. Yeah. <laughs> This MMA 30 segment is powered by The Gun Store. Next time you're in Las Vegas, if you want to shoot a real machine gun, do it at The Gun Store at 2900 East Tropicana.